that was my girlfriend practicing her music and it sounds so lovely in the house to have live music all the time today's a rest day for me I don't like rest days <laughs> I always get antsy <laughs> I figured since I'm not doing any workout stuff today, I would record a video of a meal I'm gonna eat and show you guys how I make it. And that way you guys can try it. Let me know what you think. It's gonna be a tilapia meal. It's still gonna be low fat, it's not gonna be fried, uh, but it's gonna be breaded, so obviously not, not gluten free. I don't have a problem with wheat products that doesn't affect me in an adverse way and um, I eat it in moderation. First, I need to clean my kitchen a little bit. Look at that mess. Look at those two pots. Just sitting there being messy. I'm just kidding, I'm exaggerating, it's pretty clean. Okay, so I've got everything set up here for you. Um, right here, I have just under half a pound or eight ounces of tilapia thawed. Uh, over here, I'm gonna I've got an egg which I'm gonna crack and use it kind of as the uh, the base. And then over here, I have the breading. Uh, the breading is Hill Country Fair hot and spicy breadcrumbs, and I also mix some cayenne pepper and some blackening seasoning just a little bit to add extra flavor. I'm gonna put it on the pan. Got the oven set for 400. Then over here, I've got the Near East brand um, couscous, the Mediterranean curry flavor. I'm gonna cook that last because it, as it says, it only takes five minutes to cook. So my tilapia is about done. Um, it only took about, I'd say a little less than 20 minutes for it to cook on 400 degrees. I already removed the couscous. Only took five minutes. Couscous is easy. That's why I like it. it tastes good too. I've never had the, uh, the Mediterranean curry flavor, so we'll see. And I've got the oven open right now. And there's the fishies. Look at that. Looks so good. All right, moment of truth. Mmm. That's good. Try the couscous. Mmm. Very good. It was a really good meal. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. To try it out. Come outside and let my food digest a little bit. And while I was eating, I was watching a documentary that's just come out on Netflix called I'm Not Your Guru. Very inspirational stuff. Some of the problems that he helps these people solve make, at least they make my problems <laughs> seem like not problems at all. It kind of got me thinking about why do people go to the gym in the first place. Why do we do this this thing to our bodies? I didn't play football in high school. Pretty, you know, skin and bone kid and there's nothing wrong with that. People would say something or tease me a little bit about how being thin and stuff. Growing up, I idolized, you know, superheroes, Dragon Ball Z. All of these characters that I enjoy immersing myself in are all very muscular. When I looked at myself, I didn't have that. Going to the gym while exercise is a positive thing, initially for me, it was a very destructive thing. I wasn't going there to improve who I already was. I was going there to destroy who I was. A lot of people that are coming from a direction where they're not happy, where they go to the gym because they're not happy, because they feel like they have to change themselves because they feel inadequate, or they feel ugly, or they feel fat, or they feel scrawny, or they feel weak. Feeling weak is just so crushing. 
and it stirs up this energy in you, this very violent kind of turmoil. It's very chaotic because it slings you back and forth from rage to despair, then back to rage. Of course, you walk into a gold's gym or to a 24-hour fitness or any of the gyms, the people you're going to notice first are the people who are in the best shape. They have the washboard abs, the huge shoulders, or if you're a girl, they have like the, the very defined legs, the very pronounced buttocks, and then the very, you know, ver very curved and shapely. If you're approaching this whole fitness and creating something out of your body, that you like make sure you're doing it for you if you're doing this because you feel like you're not good enough you're not doing it for you you're doing it for someone else you can't go dark side on yourself if you're going to the gym because you hate your body during that time you are so disheartened and so enraged with who you are imagine what's going to come out of that when you finally achieve how you think you should look probably going to be one of those douchebags that like the only thing they have is their physique. I don't imagine that somebody like that would be able to serve other people in a good way. And after all, that's kind of why we're here, right? To serve each other. I think that's why a lot of times people who are at the gym, the gym rats, or the physique models, or you know, the bodybuilders and stuff, they can be seen as the shallow people. And that's because there are people out there who they give up them, they destroy themselves and trade it in for something that they think is aesthetic. If you have a fitness goal, make that what it is. It's a fitness goal. You know, washboard abs or a shapely butt. <laughs> I mean, you can't take these things with you. But anyways, that's just kind of a rant. Something I was thinking about. You guys have a beautiful day.